So he produced the printed Greek New Testament. What other people did with that was they used his printed text as a basis then to translate the Bible into different languages. Luther, even though he despised Erasmus, used Erasmus's Greek New Testament to produce the first German Bible. William Tyndale in England, he decided to use the text of Erasmus to produce an English translation of the New Testament. And unlike Wycliffe, who was translating from the Vulgate, Tyndale would be translating from the Greek. Uh, Tyndale was born around the same time as Erasmus, although he lived a little bit later. Um, and he was actually murdered in Belgium. Um, we'll talk about that. He studied at Oxford and Cambridge. <coughs> and he published his New Testament while on the continent. He had to flee England uh, because of persecution for uh, producing his Bible. So he went to, uh, went to Europe and published his, his New Testament. He also published the first five books of the Old Testament. He was uh, also well acquainted with Hebrew, he was a brilliant scholar. Um, he, so he produced the uh, Torah in 1530. And this is a copy of one of the Tyndale Bibles. Um, unlike Wycliffe's, it was a printed Bible. so. He could produce a lot more than the Wycliffe Bible. It was also, the New Testament was also translated from the, the Greek. So it was actually a, the first really true translation of the Bible into English, um, William Tyndale. Tyndale's Bible is probably one of the most influential, like even today, definitely. Um, Jehovah, if you've ever heard that word, mm -hmm. Tyndale made it up. Um, Passover, he made that word up. None of these words existed before Tyndale. Atonement, he made that up. Um, scapegoat, he made that up. So all these things that we still use in English translations are phrases and expressions coined by William Tyndale. And you can definitely see his influence. Um, even expressions that he, he coined, let there be light, uh, my brother's keeper, give up the ghost, fight the fight, all these things were coined by uh, William Tyndale. Sadly, however, people, um, especially in England, uh, felt that he had gone way too far, that he had gone behind the authority of the church in producing a Bible that was not sanctioned by the church. In England, the Bible was the Vulgate, it was the Latin. It was seen to produce any other Bible was sort of heretical. Um, they, they had a very dim view of Tim Hale and his work. And so he was actually arrested by spies from England uh, in Belgium, and he was garroted and burnt at the stake in uh, outside Brussels. And so he was definitely a martyr for the, you know, for the Bible, in a sense, for his desire to produce um, simply God's word in a translation that people could understand. Um, and he paid very dearly for that. His last words apparently were, Lord, open the eyes of the king of England. Um, Henry VIII was that king. And God did open the eyes of Henry VIII eventually in allowing English translations to, uh, to come.